When you're in the news business, you're talking about expensive tools, broadcast equipment. So a mobile phone is inexpensive. You know, there's many things you can do with it which previously you couldn't. So it's not like a huge investment. Uh, we're reporting from Mali and Niger. This is where two of our journalists, one from the Arabic channel, one from the English channel, they went together and they did a report with the Tuaregs in the Sahara. The second one is a mobile breaking news one. Uh, the difference between these is the first one is more to do with our journalists went out, we gave them, we gave them a mobile, we equipped them, and we told them to do some interesting things with GPS. Uh, mobile phones have advanced, they've come a long way. The high-end phones now have amazing camera quality, so you're able to do video footage, and the quality which comes out is close to broadcast quality. That's coupled with uh, the ability to have GPS, which is to have location information on where videos and images are taken, and also to have data connection, uh, which means GPRS, 3G, Wi-Fi, all these features put together have very, very exciting potential for news reporting. The Sahara journey. So the images you're about to see, they were all taken on a mobile phone by our journalist and cameraman. Our reporters, before they went out to the Sahara, we equipped them with a Nokia, Nokia NN5, and we loaded a few applications on. This is an image of uh, some fire rebels. This was taken on the phone. The reason I put this up is just to show you, give you a sense of the quality. Al Jazeera has realized the potential of mobile phones and has made a real investment in using these phones in news reporting. The phone capabilities and advantages have exceeded their expectations. Today you'll find mobile phone material incorporated into their regular news coverage. Uh, one of our journalists and cameraman, uh, specifically the cameraman, uh, was in a hotel in Chad, uh, whereby he was equipped with a mobile phone. And he found himself in a situation where an explosion happened. He didn't have his camera with him, but he did have his mobile phone with him. So he was able to take breaking news footage and send it directly to the newsroom uh, with a special application which we're trialing. Uh, this ability to send breaking news in to the newsroom uh, as quickly as possible using just a mobile and not lots of other equipment is something which is very interesting for us and this is something which we're actively trialing at the moment.